Hi there folks, it's John here from the Jessops Academy team. We're here at the beautiful Castle Howard for Country File Live and with me today I've bought my Osmo Mobile 2 and we're going to give you some hints and tips on how you can use this to get some really amazing shots. So the great thing about the Osmo Mobile 2 is its simplicity. It is designed to be point and shoot and it just allows you to get really stable footage in any situation regardless of what your level of knowledge of video is. The Osmo Mobile 2 is suitable for all types of users. So one of the most important things about video is keeping your subject in the frame. Now, one of the great things about Osmo Mobile 2 is you have subject tracking. So we can lock onto a subject and keep them locked on that frame throughout the shot. So we're gonna take advantage of the knight and the eagle that we have over here and show you exactly how that works. If you're vlogging or taking a selfie video, take advantage of the subject tracking in that scenario. So it means I can spend more time looking at where I'm going and making sure I don't trip up because the camera and the gimbal are gonna maintain that lock on my face and keep me in the frame at all times. When you're shooting video, you wanna make sure you've got a wide variety of different types of shots. So that when you come to editing them all together, it's gonna to look a lot more interesting. One of the best ways to show the passage of time is time-lapse and motion-lapse. Now we're about to shoot a great little motion-lapse here in the tent, but there's two key things you need to remember when shooting a motion-lapse. First off, you want to include lots of movement in the shot. The more movement in a motion-lapse, the more interesting and eye-catching it is. Secondly, you don't want to move from one plane subject to another. It will just look like a normal pan left and right. So even if you're shooting a landscape with not much movement in it, Try and make sure there's a few clouds in there, or at least some sort of movement in the frame. What we're going to do here, we're going to set up our Osmo on top of the sign here, and pan from one end of the tent to the other to capture all the movement and all the bodies moving through. Remember, you want to have that excitement and that movement and that motion in the shot to make it really interesting. So we've already mentioned how the Osmo Mobile 2 is great for video, but we're going to start off and show you just how good it can also be for still images as well. So we're going to get a nice shot of Castle Howard here. I'm just going to set my camera. I'm going to put it into stills. I'm going to select my HDR option. So get a nice high dynamic range image and line it all up. I can even use my little zoom toggle on the side of the, uh, the Osmo here just to zoom in a little bit, compose my image and just take a picture. So the benefit of using the photo or recording button to take your picture or your video uh, is that you don't have to touch the phone. So obviously when you touch the phone, there's a risk that you're gonna make it slightly shift, which could affect your final image or come up as shake in your video. One of the great things about being here at Castle Howard today is we've got these amazing views that we can take advantage of. So what we're gonna do to show off this great landscape is take a quick panoramic photo. Now, one of the brilliant things about the Osmo Mobile 2, it's got your standard tripod thread at the base, but you can also get one of these great little mounting plates. So we're just gonna quickly screw this onto the base and shoot a nice panoramic. So the benefit of using the base plate or a tripod to shoot the panoramic means that the camera is going to be kept still and in position so that all your frames are going to line up perfectly. If you were to try and do it handheld, you might find that there's a loss of perspective, straight lines might appear a little bit skewed, uh, or some of the images may not line up properly so you get like a seam running through the image. So there's some of my quick tips on how to take advantage of those great creative options on the Osmo Mobile 2. If you've enjoyed our video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and don't forget that all important bell icon. And if you do want to find out more information, either check out jessops.com or head into your local store and ask any of our colleagues.